Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a shopping haul for you. These are all items that I've ordered online. They've come from eBay, Amazon and AliExpress. I think they're the three online shops that I've used. I've purchased these items over the last couple of months because with AliExpress it can take a little while for the items to turn up. They actually turned up pretty quick or some of them did. Um, I just had to wait on one or two items to eventually turn up but I'm pretty sure I've got everything now so I thought I would show you what I've ordered in the last couple of months. I'll start with eBay because there's just one item from eBay and it's this water bottle. I actually got three water bottles. It's just a bog standard water bottle. I needed a bottle to put water and conditioner in so that I can refresh my hair and I also wanted one for Sephora so it was buy three get one free so this one is still empty I'm using the other two they're fine they're really really cheap but the kind of plastic is quite soft it, I can't imagine they're not lasting all that long so I was probably better purchasing something a little, little bit more expensive but they do the job um, and it should last okay as long as I'm careful with it it should last a while but it, the plastic is pretty soft by the way I will put all the prices on the screen for you because I won't remember how much I've paid for things next I will move on to Amazon so the first item that I got were these um, Systema boxes clip down boxes and um, that label obviously didn't come with it and I, and I am using them this has got plain flour in as you can see I use jars for all my baking um, goods, baking, not equipment, ingredients, that's the word I'm looking for. I use jars, but they're really difficult to get your measuring cups in and I find even the large jars don't take a whole bag of flour or a large bag of sugar or the smaller jars don't take a whole normal sized bag of sugar. So it's a bit of a pain, you put them in the jars and then you've got half bags of flour or sugar somewhere in the kitchen so I've decided to switch to these tubs um, it's so much easier because obviously you can take the lid completely off and I can get a measuring cup in there to take my ingredients out so it's a lot easier I will eventually switch all of my ingredients over to these tubs I think I've got about five so far um, that I am using but it's because I've got flour in quite a few we've recently purchased a bread maker um, and so we've bought plain a white bread flour wholemeal bread flour then we've got plain flour and self-raising flour and I think I've got my icing sugar in another one but I do eventually plan to get more just so that they all kind of look the same I do like the look of the jars but like I said they weren't working for us so I want everything to look the same and if you are interested you can get these labels from Wilkinson's I don't think I got these ones from Wil Wilkinson's they came from somewhere else but I got those like four years ago maybe longer so yeah they're working really well um, I just need to purchase some more next up from Amazon I needed some items for Tommy for the car we've had to move him or not out of his car seat he's still in the same car seat but we've had to switch the harness to the seat belt in the car he's still only two he will be three in about three weeks time or so and he was at the very very kind of top of where the seat belt can sit on your shoulders it was getting really close like they did say at Halfords that he could last in it a little bit longer um, and weight wise he's still fine he's still under that 18 kilos when you have to move them over to the seat belt but he's getting close to that 18 kilos he's just such a tall boy and I didn't want to take him out of the harness but every day getting into the car was just a nightmare he was complaining of being uncomfortable and it hurting and this, I find that the the belt or the clip that the seat belt goes into between, between the legs is really far up it doesn't like move any further forward so he was struggling with that as well so I didn't want to like change over to the seat belt but we kind of had no choice he was almost at the stage where we, we had to move him to having the seat belt so we've had to get a few bits for that so I picked up from Amazon this little cover it's just velcros on so you under the velcro and you put it around the seat belt and that kind of sits on their shoulder I was thinking it might be a little bit more padded so that if you fell asleep you would fall asleep on this um, it hasn't done that but it kind of encourages him to wear the seatbelt because it's a Paw Patrol one and he loves the Paw Patrol. Um, if anyone knows him, he will know he loves Paw Patrol. I'm thinking the lighting on this camera is a little bit odd today. 
I might see if I, I might switch it off. It's getting really dark outside. These are the problems now. It is quarter to four, so it's a bit late in the day to be filming. It's getting quite dark outside, but this is the first chance I've been able to do this. And if I don't do it today, it could be next week before I can film this and I really wanted to get it filmed. I'm gonna switch off and see if I can sort out the lighting because I'm looking a little bit blue. Is that any better? I look slightly less blue now, but it is still quite dark. Anyway, um, you might not be able to tell. The camera is pretty good at picking up in dark, but anyway, it's what we've got to deal with right now. So yeah, so I got this for his seatbelt just to kind of go over his shoulder uh, and give him a bit of padding on his shoulder. And the other thing which is an absolute essential, and if you've got a toddler that has to go um, switch from the harness to the seatbelt, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And it's this little um, seatbelt lock, I think is what they call it. Basically, this sits over top the um, clip part of your seatbelt and then you put the seatbelt into it, if that makes any sense. Um, look on, when you when you look at this on Amazon, it'll show pictures. Um, the seatbelt bit goes into one of these holes and then the only way to release the seatbelt is to put a key or some kind of like key ring, metal key ring into this hole to release it. He can't release it himself, not unless he's got a key hidden away somewhere. We had a couple of instances where he undid his seatbelt. He was really good and he is good at listening most of the time, but there was two instances when he unclipped a seatbelt and luckily we were, we were only going a couple of miles an hour because we were sat in traffic and I was able to pull over straight away and put his seatbelt back on. And so it was no problem. Obviously if that happened and we were on the motorway, it's not that you're going to have a crash in that moment, but you don't know. And because they've done that and you know they've done that, if you're the person driving, particularly if you're on your own, you can get really distracted and that's when accidents can happen. And I'd hate to think that I'd have an accident while his seatbelt wasn't on. So this has been absolute essential, doesn't cost very much money. So I'm so pleased that I looked it up and found that you could get something like this. Next up from Amazon, I got myself a diffuser for my hair dryer. And this is what it looks like. It is pretty big. I've not used it yet, so I can't really tell you anything about it. But that is how big it is. Can you see against my hand? And my hand isn't that small. I have a diffuser for my hair dryer. I never like using them. Um, so I've seen that there's a lot of people with curly hair that really highly rate this one. It is the Black Orchid Hair Diffuser. I'll just pop this up for you. So it comes in this nice little box and the lid flips up and that's where it sits. I haven't used it yet because it doesn't actually fit my hair dryer unfortunately. My hair dryer, the nozzle is bigger than that. So I need to get a new hair dryer but that's fine because I've had my hair dryer probably 20 years, maybe not quite probably 20 years. It's been a very long time since I've had that hair dryer. So I'm probably due a new one. And I know which one I'm gonna get. I can't remember the name of it, but I will link it below because apparently it does fit this diffuser and it's only 40 pounds, like 39 pounds something. Um, so it's not expensive, but money is really, really tight for us. So I'm trying to hold out to a month when it's not so tight, which I'm not sure when that will be, but I'm trying not to just spend regardless. But I am really excited to try this out because it's cold now and I don't really want to go out with wet air and I want to be able to dry my hair with all those curls. Um, and apparently it's really good for getting the curls white in there. Anyway, at one point I will do, um, not necessarily a review on it, but show you how it works once I've got the hair dryer that matches it. Next are all items from AliExpress. If you don't know what AliExpress is, it's an online store and basically everything comes from China. So you do have to wait a little while for things to turn up. A while ago, I purchased a couple of things from the wish.com website and I was planning to just like, not buy lots, but a few different like pieces of clothing because they were so cheap. And with having a baby at the end of last year and my body shape and size not being what I was used to, I just thought I would buy a few pieces of clothing that were cheap that I could just kind of get me through until I'd lost some weight. Um, 
and when I went to go and have a look at the clothing, the items were really cheap. Like say the top was two pounds, but they would charge you seven pound in postage per item. So, you know, a top that was two pounds now costing you nine pounds. I might as well go to Primark and just pick up some bits because it's the same kind of price. Maybe slightly more at Primark, but not much more. And I can try that on and the sizes are better. So I did buy one or two items, but because of the postage, it just put me off. I had to pay postage per item and the postage was really high for a lot of the items. It just wasn't worth it. But with AliExpress, a lot of the items that I've purchased this time, there's either no postage or very, very little postage. So you're not having to spend a lot more than the advertised price and everything that I've purchased. I think the whole cost of it was less than 40 pounds. I've got a lot for that price. So I will go through everything and show you what I've got. So first up, uh, a couple of items for Fraser. Um, I've not opened them up yet. I don't know if this is even gonna show up. So that is, the first one, it says one month. So it's 12 of these like teal colored cards. And the idea is that you put photos on from each month. So the first one's one month and two months, three months, all the way up to 12 months. And on the, in the back there, if you can see there's some ribbon and that's just to tie it up so you can have like a garland of photos. The next item is, and I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what it looks like, because that's all you've got to see and I'm not gonna open it. It's a kind of birthday pack of balloons. There's a number one, there's, I think, a couple of stars, um, some regular balloons, all for helium. We have a helium canister, so I've just purchased these so that I have like the, the birthday balloons for his first birthday, so I have a number one and everything else. I did a number one balloon for Tommy's birthday, and we took it into the park and took some photos, and it was they're really cute, those photos. So I wanted to do the same for Fraser. Um, so I'll pick those up, and we will use our helium to blow those up. Next up, I got this little wooden aeroplane for Tommy. I'll just pull it out so you can see it. That's what it looks like. So this one is blue and pink. Basically, there was like a selection of different, I think they were all aeroplanes or something like that. Um, but you couldn't select what colour, it, they were just random what would turn up and this is the one that we got. It was so cheap and I just thought it might be a cute little gift to put in his stocking at Christmas. So that's why I picked that up. Next up I got some makeup brushes. So I've got three, as you can see this one isn't open yet. So they all come in these um, packages to keep them clean. So I got this eye makeup one which is kind of quite fluffy. I got this angled, I don't even know what it is, is it a blender brush? Someone else would have to tell me. I use it for my highlighter, it's just the top of my cheekbones. And then this one. I purchased them and I don't even remember why I specifically wanted these ones. Because um, I do have some makeup brushes, but I wanted some other ones. And these are the three that I picked up. I'm not too sure particularly why these three. They're really nice, they're nice and soft. They're kind of like a pewter colour, not not gold, not silver. It's not focusing on, it's focusing on me. Um, that's, I think a silver, it's getting so dark in here. So yeah, I got those three makeup brushes and there's loads more that you can pick up really cheaply. And then the rest of the items are all nail items. I wanted to get a gel kit um, nail kit and a friend of mine who's a youtuber did a how to do your gel manicure at home and she uses aliexpress so she linked all the items that she needed or she uses in her description so i went on and then went to aliexpress and picked up everything that i needed and so everything's come and I've done my nails, so I wanted to do the nails before this video so I could show you what it's like and my experience with it. Um, I will show you everything and I'll show you my nails in a second. So I got this lamp. She has the same one, but hers is white. I will link her video below because 
I'm not an expert on how to do my nails, um, but her video is really good. It taught me everything I needed to know in order to achieve this. So I will link her video below. It's Jen at a thousand words. Um, so I got the lamp, I got the black one, and it came with the UK plug. As you can see, I think the options were UK, US, or Europe. So if you are in a different country, then just pick which one fits your wattage the best, and then either use an adapter or you can change the plug. Um, I was lucky and they do a UK plug. I also picked up these little clips. So these go on your fingers um, to remove the gel. So I did watch Jen's video again, how to remove, and you just put some cotton wool, soaked in acetone, and put them on there. It just keeps the cotton wool in place and you're not having to like purchase foil or remove pads or whatever it is all the time. So I've got those and I'm not 100% sure why I picked these up but these are little lint free pads you can see it's just a little square lint free pad nothing really to look at I think it is if you want to use like a nail prep cleanser um, I can use, I've got the alcohol wipes but I also have some nail prep cleanser as well and you want to use a lint free um, pads so that you don't get any lint on your nails when you're preparing your nails. So I'm pretty sure that's what they were for, but I picked them up anyway. And I got a cuticle spoon for cleaning your cuticles and just tidying up your nails if it will come out. And it's this one here. It's just got the kind of rounded end and this end which is angled. And then in the centre here, this is all kind of grit, so you can, it's not um, smooth, so it's nice little grip to hold on to when doing your nails. And it comes in this little packet if you want to keep it in there. Right. And this is another idea from Jen. I picked up these little, ideal for fashion it says, little glass dots, if it's going to show up. There you go. Um, her idea is that she paints one of them and then pops it on the top of her polish like that with the colour so that she can see what colour polish she wants to use. If they're kind of st standing up right in a tub, she doesn't have to pull everyone out. She can see from the top what colour it is and not all of the gel polishes um, show you what colour they are unless you open them. So this one does, but apparently not all of them do. So that's why she uses those which I thought was a clever idea and she just hot glues them on top so I've not done that yet but I thought that was a really clever idea and of course I had to get my base coat top coat and color so I got the CND shellac base coat and I got CND shellac powder polish top coat And then I got a, one colour, and this is Wild Moss, and it's CND as well. And I thought this was like a nice colour, very neutral. Not very, very neutral, obviously. <laughs> it would go with a lot of things. It's not like nude, but it would go with a lot of things. And going into the cooler months, I thought it would work quite well through into autumn and into winter as well. And I'll just show you my nails. So it's a nice kind of grey green colour I don't know if that's showing up on camera very well but I think I feel like for my first attempt I did a pretty good job of doing those nails if you can paint your nails with nail polish then you can do this I haven't painted my nails for a very long time but I can do it I'm not particularly good with my left hand but I can be kind of controlled enough to paint my right hand and a little tip for you if you aren't the best at doing your um painting your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand is to paint the 
the your dominant hand first or so I'm right-handed so I use my obviously painted my right hand first because by the time I got through that then it was easier to do my left hand that's a little tip for you not that I'm an expert but I feel like I did a pretty good job I can see some imperfections I only had time to do one coat of color um, so considering it has coated it pretty well I can see a couple of patches but I was limited on time and I didn't want to end up with only one hand done which I thought was going to happen but I'm really happy with that and the polishes are so inexpensive less than a good quality like nail polish I think I can't remember exactly how much it was it will be on the screen somewhere for you but it was less than a good quality nail polish because you can spend up to 15 pounds at least on a good pol good like nail polish lacquer um, even if it was seven pounds for a nail polish this was definitely cheaper than that I'm pretty sure um, so I'm really happy with that. I'm looking forward to being able to buy some more and to use them more. Um, it didn't take me very long. Fraser was being a nightmare going to sleep. It took me at least three attempts to get him to go down to a nap. And then I had however long I had left before having to go and pick up Tommy from nursery. And there was bad traffic so I had to leave early that day. And I managed to get it done. So I'm really pleased um, and I managed to do all of them all finished painted and all top coat done just in time before Fraser woke up or I had to go and wake up Fraser so that is everything I think that I've picked up I have actually bought a couple more things from Amazon they should arrive this week I seem like I'm spending a lot of money recently this a lot of this wasn't that expensive and this has been over a period of about two months um, and apart from this nail stuff generally it isn't for me um, so this is quite unusual for me but I wanted to share it with you the things that I got and Aliexpress is definitely worth looking at I know you have to wait sometimes for your items to turn up but it's definitely worth checking out um, because you can get some real bargains and don't forget to check Jen's video out she's not asked me to share her video but I followed it and I did a few little notes of what I had to do and mine turned out pretty well so her video obviously works um, so if you're interested in doing your own gels and you don't know where to start because I didn't I didn't have a clue what to do other than painting obviously base coat first then your colour then your top coat I didn't have any other clue of what to do with the lamp um, so I followed her video and voila I have painted nails for the first time in probably a year and a half two years because I never have time to do these things for myself but I am hoping that this having this I'll be able to do a few little things for myself because as soon as I finished I had to deal with a baby and preparing food and going to pick up a toddler I didn't have time to sit down and wait for nail polish to, to dry there's not a chance that was ever going to happen I had to get on with my day instantly and I did and there's no chips or smudges so that's a big win in my book anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.